Fortnite Chapter 4 is just around the corner, and I thought what better way to review Chapter 3 than to do a tier list. Before we get into it, in case you guys missed, AFK is now live. Power's latest apparel drop. The black and white jerseys are now live only for a limited time. Check it out. Link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe for amazing Chapter 4 content. We're going to be hitting it as the season goes live. Now, what tiers are we working with today? At the top, we've got best update this chapter. That will only be one thing. And I may surprise you what I pick. Next up, we got S tier. Just, you know, standard S tier. Best of the best. Poggers. All right. It's not quite S tier, but it's pretty good. Decent update. You know, it's decent. Okay. We ain't saying it's crazy, but we ain't saying it. Yikes, which is our next tier. It's a yikes. You know, like, yikes. And then last but not least, we have AO. What is this? Let the critical review start now with our first update, which is the sliding mechanics. And I think I can say sliding is a, a W uh, in, in Fortnite. I think it's pretty hard to innovate kind of how the game plays. And I think sliding worked really well i personally would consider sliding an s tier i'd love to hear everyone's thoughts on you know my tier list in general but i think sliding was great and props to fortnite for adding it in the game on some chapter three weapons we got the ranger now i think at first this wasn't the gun that everybody was really liking but over time it you know it had that really small bloom i would put this under like decent update like it ain't no scar don't get it twisted next up we have the hunter bolt action sniper rifle now this thing is actually so overpowered in the last season obviously with headshots dealing two 200 damage but even then three bullets without reloading was never a thing with sniper rifles apart from the semi-autos but they always sucked really satisfying in the latest update i would call it s tier because it really is just so nice to be able to snipe again but considering how you know the chapter started with it being you know not one hit headshots i'll probably put it to poggers but it also makes the chapter one snipers so trash now because they do one at a time and they do the same damage but this one can hold three yeah, it's pretty poggers. Next up, we got the striker shotgun. Not in the game right now. Very controversial when it was first added to the game uh, because obviously pumps were taken out and this was like just such a bad version of the pump. I'd actually have to put this down to decent update. It started at a, as a yikes. It really did, but they made it better over time and it became decent. Obviously, no 200 headshots. Still can't get that with a shotgun, I don't think. I'm actually going to change decent update to just decent because it applies to everything. Next up, we have the tack shotgun's cousin, the auto shotgun again really it was ao what is this at the start of the season but towards the end you know reload two at once it, it, it became pretty decent some people actually preferred it over the striker i'll put it into decent but really with the striker and the auto they were kind of just reinventing the pump and the tack to decent success i wouldn't say they nailed it it's hard when the weapons change throughout the seasons because i'm trying to critique the average really new med items in chapter three we got the guzzle juice and the med miss i am putting med miss straight up to s tier i know i'm skipping a little bit here med Red Mist was just such a satisfying heal to use. I love being able to heal and run. I don't know. That's just so satisfying to me. I thought it was cool. I would consider it S tier. Great update by Fortnite. Next up, we got the Guzzle Juice. This one was only, I think, available for the first season. Didn't really hit. I'd probably have to say Guzzle Juice was decent. It wasn't bad. It wasn't yikes, but it, it ain't winning any awards. You know what I mean? Alrighty, next up, we got quite a controversial one. It's Spider-Man Gauntlets, and this could be best update in the chapter. Great movement great collab probably not the greatest for competitive but i don't know just for enjoyment of playing the game i thought this was really cool and i was like so dope man i'm my icon skin and i get to like be spider-man like that to me was really cool as well i'm gonna put him at the top of s tier but for me it wasn't the best update this chapter i have good reasoning for the best update next up we have the winterfest update which you know kind of involves santa claus running around town i didn't think this was a good one did we even get free gifts yeah we did we got like the the matrix glider which gave you pretty good fov so that was pretty nice but it ain't very memorable for me i, I thought the santa claus driving around map was cool but apart from that i'd probably put it down to decent not crazy about this one chapter three season one started out pretty good because we also got shield kegs which is like kind of the campfire equivalent for shields i know people concept of this ages ago in chapter one i think it's a great item i'll probably put it up into poggers like it really made it interesting in like what to carry like do i carry this or, or six minis and it was kind of a toss-up every time because you'd end up healing your enemy as well in season one we also got our natural disasters so our tornadoes and our thunderstorms but the thunderstorms got taken out pretty quickly and i thought they were dope because they would look sick with my skin i would like power it up literally i don't think they hit as well as uh people expected i found them kind of annoying picking up stuff and throwing it around was kind of cool a little bit of destructivity but maybe high decent like it was cool they were experimenting i give it a decent update here next up we get the pines so it was kind of interesting how you could chop down the pines and you could use it to grief players actually quite damaging and i didn't 
include the rocks in this conversation as well. Kind of like environmental things that you can use to damage your opponents. I, I thought it was a pretty cool idea. Definitely not yikes. Some people found it yikes, especially like some comp players, but I, I put it down to decent, almost poggers really, just because of like how creative it was. But yeah, I'll put it like strong decent on this one. Next up, we got my boy Clombo. Everybody loves Clombo. Ain't nobody hate Clombo at all. I imagine he'll make an appearance in the last event for the chapter. He has to. He actually has to. But yeah, fan favorite, gave you loot. Great kind of like cool atmospheric thing to have in the map. I'm going to chuck him into S tier. He also brought the views. You know what I mean? Like, and this is like kind of where I get jaded a little bit. Is it like, I kind of assess value in Fortnite's and like who bring in the views. And my boy Clombo, he brought the views. Next up, we got pizza. I feel like everybody wanted like this kind of pizza consumable for a while, but we finally got it this season. I'd kind of just say decent. Like it was cool. You could throw it on the ground. It was a pizza box, you know, you want one change in the world. Next up, I have the rock and I've got him here to kind of represent the storyline of, of chapter three. I think it was good. I don't know if it was as good as the last chapters, but we'll have to see how it all goes with the event this weekend, which by the way, I will not be streaming it, but I will be making a video on it. So make sure to subscribe to get that noty. Yeah, I'd probably put the storyline under decent because it was solid, this, this chapter. We got the new heavy shotgun. I actually didn't really like this. I didn't get to play with it too too much but i still would consider it more of a yikes i don't think players really liked it it was kind of like that slug bullet for me this shotgun didn't hit because this wasn't in zero build either and i wonder how it would have been in zero build machine pistol finally made it to the game after you know it got leaked back in season x i think it came out in solid gold i, I did a video on that back in the day so it took a whole two chapters to come out but i thought it was trash really i actually will chuck it to a yikes potentially ao what is this because it was i did not find it good at all next up we got the tent and kind of again jaded as i am looking through the eyes of content i thought the tent was a pretty cool idea you put your stuff in the tent and you get to draw it out whenever you want and we get to make some great content like the armored wall video that was probably my most viewed video in this whole chapter. So for that alone, I probably should chuck it into S tier, but that's not really representative of what else it did. I mean, it did allow me to get a gold spaz shotgun and hit 200s when no one else in the game could. That felt pretty cool. You ever have an item that no one else can have? Yeah, I still don't know how the guy got that spaz. I'd have to put this at as a uh, an S tier. I love when Fortnite try different things, add some kind of permanence to it. And from a content perspective, it was really nice. Next up, we have the victory crowns. And I thought these were really interesting. This chapter, obviously you get a win, you get a crown, you get a win with the crown, you get a crown royale, and you can kind of flex on people and show how much you need to touch grass. I was never really a serial grind. I think this season I got like 20, it probably got like maybe a hundred in all of the whole chapter, but it doesn't loop over every season it resets, which I don't know how I feel about that. I would kind of like some permanent flex there. Would be cool if we could spend it on stuff. Like, you know, Fall Guys literally has crowns that you can use to get exclusive skins. Why can't we have that? So for that reason, I'm putting him on the poggers. I thought it was great, but it hasn't reached its full potential. Otherwise, it would be S tier. So he's going under poggers. Let's pray for a crown shop next season, all right? Uh, next up, zero build Fortnite. I think everybody can agree this brought so many players back to the game. Maybe controversial. I still prefer build Fortnite just because I think building is what makes Fortnite Fortnite. And honestly, my aim just ain't that good. And I just find it hard. I think it was great getting people back into the game. It is going to go up in S tier, probably right next to Spider-Man because that's what matters at the end of the day. Next up, we got sprinting and mantling. I think not much really needs to be said about this. It was nice, clear and fluid. I think all the movement updates this season have been just S tier. I wonder what movement updates we'll see in the next chapter. Can you see what we got? <sighs> okay, we got tanks. I didn't like the tanks and I also lost my first game of the season to a tank. I respect Fortnite for trying to get new movement items into the game. It just didn't hit for me. So I, I'll probably put it into AO. Uh, what is this? Next up, we got the cow catcher car mod upgrade. Great kind of diverse item here. Can be added to the car but also can be placed on the ground for a zero build to have cover. Great idea. I'd probably put this one down as decent. You know, it was kind of a necessary thing to add. Not exactly poggers, but it was cool. Bit of like a just whatever update here. Kind of just the repair torch. It didn't really bring the content, except when I clickbaited people thinking you can open a vault with it. So for that reason, it's probably high of yikes. <laughs> Next up, we got the new thermal rifle. I thought this was an upgrade to a pretty lackluster gun in the, 
you know, first couple chapters. I'll probably plug him into decent, not crazy damage, but decent fire rate. Thermal's always nice. Decent. Nothing much to really said. The new org. I mean, I actually just realized it's not in the game anymore, um, but this thing was broken. So I guess that means it's like poggers inherently because it was broken. It, it's arguably S tier, but because it's so broken, it's not S tier, you know? Like it kind of is like an inverse relationship there. Speaking about broken guns, the Stinger SMG. Again, this is hard because this gun was incredibly broken at the start of season one. Like, and the fact that the competitive players had to play that whole season with this gun in there was, I think, still insulting. That's what makes this hard. The gun is S tier and it still was all the way to the end of it being in the game. Obviously not in the game anymore. I think it's still S tier. Same conversation with the combat SMG. It was S tier. I'm just going to say that S tier is broken. Like th these were the guns you had to use. Next up, we got the battle bus being a drivable vehicle in Fortnite. Thought that was pretty cool. Has a cow catcher on it, has a turret on it. I consider it a pretty decent update. Not bad at all. It was pretty cool. I was really excited for the Stinger missiles, but I don't think they landed for me. I think they were obviously there for the anti-tanks. For me, nothing too crazy with these guys. Heavy Sniper made a return. I would say it was decent in the latest one it came out. Obviously, it wasn't dealing 200 headshots, but pretty decent. I think the uh, the other sniper was better in every way. Ranger Shotgun. At first, I did not like this gun, but in the latest season, I've really started to enjoy it more. If it's two rarities higher than a prime, then it's better than a prime. And in zero build, I know it was kind of meta as well. So for that reason, I'd probably chuck it into Poggers. It was really satisfying when you hit those long range shots because it held up that high damage. I'd probably put them in there. Still haven't done the best update yet. Next up, we got the Block 2.0 update. So obviously, Block was a massive success back in the day. They decided to do it again in a different kind of style. I did actually submit one and I thought it was pretty good, but it wasn't good enough because Fortnite didn't even put it in the selection. Plus the way the one that was actually picked didn't work very well because the first one got all the votes anyway. So I'd say it was a bit of a dodgy launch and execution from Epic side on how the block actually went out. But I always think it's a great idea to have community concepts like affect the Battle Royale map. I think that's really cool, really exciting. I was really pumped to see if mine made it, but it didn't. So for that reason, it's yikes. Nah, I thought it was cool. Could have been executed better. Yeah, I think just given how it went out decent, please do it again next chapter. So obviously I have an event this weekend to close out the chapter, but the one we already had was pretty good. Interest in Fortnite is definitely the lowest it's ever been. I think a Google Trends chart would reflect that. For me, this was the lowest viewed Fortnite event I've had on YouTube. Maybe that's because I fell off. I don't know how I feel about events that like kind of try to trick you into thinking the decisions you make actually matter. Maybe I'm just too old and smart to realize that it doesn't work that way. It was nice and interactive. I think it was pretty well enjoyed by most of the people and probably one of the better events we've had. I definitely put him into Poggers. I wouldn't be putting him into S tier Astroworld Travis Scott levels, but Poggers for sure at least. Next up, my favorite exploit, the Seedlings. Uh, when these launched in the Vibin season, you would be getting mad XP out of these bad boys because they didn't test how much XP you'd get. So I know a lot of people enjoyed that. I did find it a bit cheap that it was so easy to get legendary weapons like every game. I'd say decent, cool idea, but nothing too wild for me. Storm Sickness, new feature where if you spend more than, I think it's eight minutes in the storm, you start getting sick and you will die. Now this was obviously to combat those annoying people who would try to out heal the game. <laughs> We're the only ones in the world to win a game of Fortnite on Spawn Island. <laughs> That's pretty cringe if you ask me. I'd consider Storm Sickness a poggers just because getting out healed is annoying unless you're doing it yourself. Slipstreams came back this chapter and honestly, they were a kind of yikes for me. When I think of the OG Slipstreams from back in the day, they were fast. Getting off the slip was fast. That key difference makes everything for me. Uh, the Slipstreams this season, the glide speed made them not want to be used. They didn't hit like they used to. Same with bowlers. And I'd almost arguably put them here yeah. because they just didn't age well. Like, when did you ever see anyone rocking a bowler? Obviously, it worked for the kind of theme park they had set up, but didn't hit for me. All right, let's blast through some weapons. The two-shot shotgun, I think it was not that great, but in zero build, it was decent. So I'll probably lend it to decent for the most part. Hammer AR. I'm going to put it up to poggers. I did not like it at first, but it grew on me. I really liked the small bloom. The 20 ammo capacity wasn't great at first, but after adjusting, it was just fine. I think it was a great hybrid SMG 
SMG AR to have in that slot. Yeah, I really enjoyed the hammer AR. I don't think it was super overpowered. Now, the grappler glove, it just didn't feel as smooth as the spider gloves. And obviously, that's what they were trying to do with it. Not as many charges. It just felt so clunky. And you couldn't shoot after switching out of it until you hit the ground, which for me took a lot of fun out of the item. So I, I'd probably put it into decent. One key mechanical change really changed how I enjoyed that item. So grappler glove just not going high for me. Ripsaw launcher. I feel like this was a good idea on the table, like an item that kind of went across the world and, you know, took things out until it ran out of juice. But for me, it just didn't hit. I, I'd probably call it decent because I liked Fortnite's, you know, attempt. So yeah, I probably chuck it into Yikes. Just not great. Among Us, Among Us, Among Us. We got the Among Us collab this season. Obviously, this was kind of inspired for when Fortnite Loki took their game mode, but then, you know, said sorry. And then they said, we'll do something. And then I think if you buy Among Us on Epic Games, you get an Among Us back bling. It's a cool back bling. Not as cool as power back bling. But I thought it was really cool. We made a cool power video on it as well. They're always cute. Uh, and uh, yeah, can't really say anything bad about it. I say it was decent. I know people exploited it for a lot of V-Bucks. Well done. Probably Potter's if you got some good V-Bucks out of it. Next up, we have Darth Vader's lightsaber. Now, I can't be the only one that's sick of Star Wars in Fortnite. I saw the last one get added in and I actually visibly sighed. Like, I just don't care about Star Wars. I've been added to the game five times. The lightsabers aren't that fun to play with. The throwing one isn't even that cool. The Star Wars doesn't hit like it used to and I don't think it ever really hit. The best lightsaber clip is definitely that 1v4 with Lan and Fresh, Mao, McCreamy versus that one guy. That's the best thing that ever happened with a lightsaber and it's been downhill from there. Yeah. I actually am sick of them and I do not want to see them again. First SMG, not even going to have a discussion. It started out and it felt powerful and probably in zero build it was a little bit, but yeah. everyone hated it towards the end, including myself. Next up, we had the Indiana Jones collab and kind of the temple and all that kind of fun stuff. Pretty dope. Really cool map change. A boulder that can kill you. I'd say this is really creative. I'd love Fortnite to do more of these things into the map. I'm going to chuck them into Poggers. That was pretty cool for me. Prime shotgun. For me, this really felt just like a nice, clean, shotgun. Now, obviously, if you had it fully reloaded, it would deal more damage. I really like that mechanic as like kind of a serial reloader. Like for some reason in every game I play, if I'm missing one bullet, I'm reloading immediately. So for me, I don't know, this hit like some weird nerve for me and it's S tier. It's a good shotgun in the game, especially without the pump. I liked it. Next up, we had the summer update. Now, I didn't actually play the summer update. We had things like ice cream cones and little wit, little wit. Mm. Now that is arguably S tier. I probably actually would say this is the worst summer event we've ever had in Fortnite. Didn't play it, so a little biased, but the fact that I didn't play it also says a lot. This next one is arguably, again, best update this chapter, and that's Dragon Ball. I'm a massive Dragon Ball fan. Watched all the anime. The fact that I'm in a game of Goku actually makes me happy inside. So it was really cool to celebrate Dragon Ball and Vegeta in Fortnite. I think this one is right up there, S tier next to Spider-Man. Arguably best update this chapter, Kamehameha and the Nimbus Cloud. Perfect execution execution of a collab. The only thing I think that can top it is Attack on Titan. That could top it. I can imagine that with Titan powers over the map. Oh. 10 out of 10 collaboration. Best collaboration we've seen in Fortnite in a very long time. Most interesting boss we've had in a while, the Herald boss. So she would summon wolves as you fought her. She would drop the mythic burst rifle, which is really good in my opinion. She was very overpowered, but I liked that. I'd probably put her into Poggers tier because they did something different there. Interested to see what she does in the event. It looks like considering we're getting a new chapter, she going to do some damage. Uh, next up, we got the Chrome ability. I think it was pretty good. I liked the idea. Idea. I don't think the phasing worked as well as people thought it would. The blobs were kind of cool for rotating as well in, in comp. Heal over time was nice. I will actually put this debatably in poggers here just because I like it when Fortnite try and they were, they were trying something with this. So I, I want to I wanna give them a poggers. Speaking of poggers, MK7 Assault Rifle. For me, this one's going to S tier and we can talk about it. Just like first person shooting with a gun hadn't been done before. I mean, technically it was like done with the scoped assault rifle, but this one just felt super clean. Obviously very overpowered, so an S tier. I wonder if we'll see it back in the new season, maybe in a different iteration. You know, every chapter they kind of change the base guns. So I imagine we could see maybe a version of it. S tier for sure. Next up, we got keys, which entails the vaults and the little loot boxes around the map. Don't know if I could go around calling this S tier because I don't think it was as cool like and rewarding as the key cards back in the day, but still pretty cool. I like the kind of method you would get the keys and stuff like that. I'm going to chuck them up into poggers because I liked how it changed the competitive landscape with keys and stuff being a priority and 
and being a reward. So for me, that's kind of cool. Next up, we got the Porter builds. Nothing much really said here. Necessary for zero build yeah, is decent. The Chrome Shotgun. I didn't like it at first, but I grew onto it a little bit. I'm still going to put it up there with the Auto Shotgun because that's kind of what it resembles in my head. The Burst Assault Rifle, though, getting that, you know, above purple when you start shooting more. Plus, it's a different mechanic, which again, I always want to reward. I'm going to chuck him into Poggers. I thought he was pretty, pretty cool. I got the Cobra DMR here, but I'm also going to include that as the other normal DMR because they're not that much different in my book. I probably put them down a decent. These things didn't really do anything crazy for me. They were nice in zero build. They felt rewarding to get headshots and stuff, but I don't know. It just didn't like hit crazy for me. Cyber PK's Trap Tower. I thought this was cool. Obviously, to celebrate Cypher's icon skin. It was great for getting clips. I got that one clip of just trying to make a trap tower in it in the new Fortnite. I, I, I really liked it. It was cool, especially for zero build. Great way to touch on Cypher's story in Fortnite and adding something there that resembles the early days. Debatably S tier, but it's only available in an LTM. So for that, I probably go Polaris. Now the Goo Gun, there's kind of a theme of me liking Fortnite for trying things. They tried a lot this chapter, which you can kind of recognize by how I'm doing through these things. I thought it was very ambitious to go for this like explosive goo weapon. It's very annoying to fight, but so are a lot of these S tier weapons. Look, this one's a hard one. I'd probably say just because they're trying something different. I know people hate this gun. I'm not in that crowd. I kind of enjoy it, but it does feel very cheap when you're in a box trying to heal and someone's gooed you and you're probably dead nine times out of 10 unless you react immediately. So for that reason, I'd probably say Poggers. Debatably S tier, but because it is annoying for a lot of people, probably Poggers. Probable launch pads, crucial for zero build. Nothing really crazy. Decent. You know, it's, it's like a required mechanic for a game mode. It, nothing really too crazy about it. Man, they really kind of dropped the ball with a lot of the events this season. Like Fortnite Nightmares really didn't pop this kind of claw mechanic thing. I don't think it really did that much at all. It was kind of Wolverine recycled. I might even actually go as far as to say is like, what uh, is this? It's crazy to me that the Christmas, summer, and Halloween events were debatably some of the worst updates we've seen in Fortnite. For me, they've got to try something different. And I don't know what it is, to be honest. Here's where the controversy starts. Creative Battle Royale is the best update this chapter. It could potentially be the best update we've ever had in Fortnite. Hear me out. It allows you to make infinite content. There's still limitations, which is why it's still not the best update that's ever happened in Fortnite. But if they can fix it and tune it, like there's a big problem with teams at the moment. I can't do any customs that have any teams. Everything has to be solos right now. Rain, that gets fixed in the next season. What this will do for content creators is probably overlooked in a lot of ways. I've been able to make some great content out of it. For me, when I read the patch notes of this being added to the game, I looked at that update as a brand new season update. That's how big it was to me. I think the top three is still definitely Spider-Man and Goku. But yeah, for me, that takes the cake and I'm excited to see how they expand on it in chapter four. Uh, dial a drop. I thought it was kind of cool. It's decent for me. You dial a drop, you get a thing. Cool. Then we got the grapple glider. I don't know. I, again, this is such an item similar to the baller that just doesn't age for me. And I'm going to chuck it into yikes. The grapple distance is so small. I swear it used to be way longer. The glide speed is horribly slow. And I know it always was, but it just feels so painful with how fast the game's gotten that you're still that slow. It's not great. Shockwaves all day, every day. And then last but not least, the Octane in Fortnite S tier. I think this was a really cool item. I know it got added to creative first, then in the Battle Royale. And it's not crazy in Battle Royale, but it's more just kind of what this does and kind of gives us an idea of what Epic are doing. Power currently has a Rocket League team and a Fortnite team. I kind of dreamed of this content synergy when I got the Rocket League team to be able to have our Rocket League team play with our Fortnite team in Fortnite. I personally found that really cool and I'm keen to see what else we can do. It would be great if we could get like, you know, the decals from our Epic account to like transfer over so that I can rock the power decals whenever I hop into my Octane. That would be kind of cool. But yeah, I think the future of Fortnite is looking interesting. You know, maybe Fall Guys is integrated and, and such like that. Bit of a long one, but that's my chapter three review. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm excited for chapter four. Lots of great content planned for you guys. Power's got some great content planned for you guys. If you haven't subscribed to both, definitely do. Check out the AFK drop. I'll catch you guys next chapter. See you guys.